Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd ahabata fillah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala qal Fi kitabihi al-kareem Wa ma khalaqtu al-jinn wa l-ins illa li'abudun I have not created mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of worshipping me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given the mu'mineen a purpose, a divine purpose. And that purpose is to worship him subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Unlike the other nations and all those who worship other than Allah azza wa jal, and followed their desires, the mu'min has a purpose, but being cognizant of that purpose, staying steadfast on ubudiyah, on worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, is the job of the mu'min. And that's why the Prophet alayhi salatu was salam said, ad-dunya sijin mu'min jannat al-kafir that the dunya, the life of this world, is the prison of the believer and it is the jannah of the disbeliever. That doesn't mean that the mu'min can't enjoy the beauty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation as we are doing here in New Mexico, outside of Roy, New Mexico, Kiawa, National Forest. We're enjoying the beauty of Allah Azza wa Jal's creation as tathkir, that this will remind us of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his tawheed, fi tawheedihi, in his fi asma'ihi wa sifatihi wa rububiyatihi, in his lordship and in his divine names and attributes, and that all the worship goes to Allah Azza wa Jal. So that's the difference between the mu'min and how they use and view this life and ghayr mu'minin and other than the believers. So the mu'min has that divine purpose. They have that divine intent in what they do, especially in, in, in worship and realizing, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, that the, that the purpose of all of this is to worship Allah Azza wa Jal. And so we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to bless us to be steadfast on the book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and to protect us from Kulli Su wa Makru, everything, every form of wickedness and everything which is displeasing to Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم